we will use the the agreement, uh, the location of these entities, the most important ones, because we don't have enough time to speak about everything. First of all, the adductor muscles. The adductor muscles are five muscles. The most deep one is the adductor magnus. Its insertion is in the ischial tuberosity and the scupibic branch. Above, we will find the adductor brevis. Very, very, sh oh, sorry. Very short, that what is called brevis. In the medial side, the gracilis muscle. And its insertion is between the adductor brevis insertion and the adductor magnus. More anterior, we will find the adductor longus. It's the most important one because it's the, the, the one who is uh, most commonly injured by far. Okay? This muscle is very characteristic. This intramuscular tendon here and this round shape. So this is the, the first landmark we are going to search when we will assess adductor muscles. And here we will have the iliopsoas complex, and between the iliopsoas complex and the adductors, we will find the pectineus muscle. Okay. What about iliopsoas? We will place the probe here over the anterior inferior iliac spine, and then move mid medial. We will find these structures. First of all, we will find a thick tendon, very, very close to the hip joint, just beneath. Okay. This is the psoas major tendon. It usually has a very small muscle, the psoas major muscle. And lateral, we will find this muscle here, a big muscle, which is the iliac muscle. The iliac muscle has usually two components, the medial component and the lateral one, separated by this fascia here and a small thickening of the fascia here, which is the iliac tendon. So we will have a big tendon of the psoas major with the small muscle and a big muscle, the iliac muscle, with a small tendon. Okay? There's another muscle here called the ilio-info-info, yeah, sorry, sorry, ilio infratrochanteric muscle, is more lateral to the iliac muscle. Okay? If we, if we go medial, we find the femoral artery. And even more medial, the femoral vein. Between the artery and the, the iliac muscle, there's a small nerve, is a femoral nerve. And just be, below, the femoral vein will find the pectineus muscle. Okay. What about the pubis? We'll find inside the pubis a disc. There is uh, five ligaments, okay? Four ligaments, sorry. The superior pubic ligament here. This one is here. The anterior, sorry. The anterior and posterior pubic ligaments. Sorry. Here, this is the anterior pubic ligament, the anterior pubic ligament, and the posterior one, which is the weakest one. Okay? And the inferior pubic ligament here, also called arqu arcuate ligament. All these structures are set by MRI, not by ultrasound. Okay? This is very important, the insertion of the adductors. The adductor magnus inserts here below the pubic crest, and the relationship within, between the adductors and the rectus abdominis muscle. Very, very important. Here you can see the insertion of the rectus abdominis. This is the linea alba. Okay? There is a small muscle here called the pyramidalis. Okay? And all these structures are joined together by this fascia which continues all these structures uh, above, and, uh, and, uh, above and beneath the pubic bone. This is a sagittal view with the rectus abdominis, with the piriformis pyramidalis muscle, sorry, the insertion of the rectus abdominis here, and this is the adductor longus, and you can notice the fascia covering these structures and making it con continue. 
And to finish, two words about hip. It's very important, the capsule, which reaches the intertrochanteric line. And this is the place here when we will assess effusions and the place where we will perform injections inside the joint. Be careful because there's a, a small artery here. This small ascending branch of the lateral circumflex artery of the artery, uh, femoral artery. Okay? So this branch is just in the middle here and we need to avoid it. Okay, let's go. You can change now. Okay. We okay. We will place the, the patient with the lower limb externally rotated here. Okay. To have a better access to this area. Okay. Thank you. I usually use this probe because it's wider and I have a better view of all these muscles. Thank you. If you notice, we have here a muscle. Hmm? This will be the adulto longus. If I place if I place the probe in the short axis over this muscle uh, here, we will notice we notice this round-shaped muscle. This is the adductor longus. You can see here this tendon inside the muscle, which is the adductor longus tendon. Okay. First of all, we usually assess this structure because almost all the injuries will take place in the uh, junction between the muscle, mus muscle and this tendon, in the myotendinous junction. So this is a very important area to assess. We need to go very proximal. With a normal patient, we need to remove the underwear. He, he doesn't want it to, so. Okay, we go proximal. And you can notice how the tendon is more and more superficial till we reach here. This is the tendon, and here, sorry, can you help me, please? Thank you. Here, you can see the insertion of the adductor longus in the short axis in the pubis. With a small irregularity in the bone here, but very small. This is the insertion of the adductor longus. Then we, we rotate the probe 90 degrees. Sorry for the mess. And again, we will go, but this time on the long axis. And you will notice here, OK, yes, here. This is the insertion of the adductor longus tendon in the pubis. Yep. You notice this, this light layer here is, is the adductor longus. This is the adductor brevis. And this is the adductor magnus. Okay? We can see in this view here the three layers of the adductors. Okay? Be careful because this, this is the adductor longus tendon. Okay? Always check this tendon very, very Exhaustively, okay? Very important. Okay, if we return to the first position and then we go uh, to the table eh, here, more medial, we'll notice this muscle with this, with this oval shape. This is the gracilis muscle. And if we go slightly anterior, this is the adulto longus muscle, as you imagine, okay? So now, Okay, we need to go slightly proximal because there's, uh, there's a muscle missing here, the adductor, the adductor brevis. It's because it's very brevis. If we go proximal, then it appears. Okay, notice, notice the, sh the short muscle, a short muscle adductor brevis. 
you, you need to be very proximal. Okay? And this is the adductor magnus. So we, we have the view of the gracilis, adductor magnus, adductor brevis, and adductor longus. OK? Understood? Perfect. OK. Now, iliosoas complex. We place the volume normal, supine position, and we search the rectus femoris. So in the anterior side of the thigh, we put the probe over there, and we search this image, this round muscle with this tendon inside, this central tendon. We go proximal till we reach the anterior inferior iliac spine. This bone with this hyperechogenic line, very, very clear. This is the anterior inferior iliac spine. And this is the insertion of the direct tendon. We will see later. If we go medial, from the iliac spine medial, you will notice this thick tendon here. This is the psoas major tendon. With this small muscle here, this is the psoas major muscle. OK, this is the iliac muscle. If we go slightly distal, you will notice here the fascia dividing the medial uh, iliac muscle and the lateral iliac muscle. And here, this is the iliac tendon. And if we go distal, we will notice how this iliac tendon will mer merge okay, here, will merge here. It's difficult because of anisotropy, iliac tendon, psoas tendon, and here together, okay? Till they reach the lesser trochanter, okay? Perfect. And here, in this side, this is the iliac muscle. You notice this small muscle here. This is the ilio infratrochanteric muscle. To finish this area, we will go more medial, and we'll notice the neurovascular bundle with the artery more lateral, the vein more medial, the art and between the artery and the iliac muscle, Somewhere here, we, we will find the nerve. So to do that, I will adjust parameters. Here. Here, you can see here, femoral nerve. Here, you see it? It's this structure here. It's very it's difficult to distinguish because it's the, um, surrounded by fatty tissue which is hyperechoic, and the nerve itself is also hyperechoic. But you, maybe you can notice this nerve here. Can, can you see it? Yeah. OK. I imagine you, you see. Uh, perfect. And to finish here, if we go here, we find the femoral vein and this muscle here. This is the pectineus muscle. Perfect. And to fit, and, and in this area, hip joint. If we are over the psoas major tendon and we turn the probe in, on its long axis here, okay, we can detect the acetabulum and the, don't worry. Okay, and the focus. And the depth. OK. Here, this is the psoas major tendon. I turn over the psoas major tendon. This is the acetabulum with the labrum, and this is the femoral head. And if we go distal, this is the, oh, can we have, okay. perhaps with, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, here. Here, OK. And this is the recess. You can see this line here. This is the capsule reaching here, the intertrochanteric line. So th this will be our target for the injections. And as I told you, there is an artery just here in the middle of the path of the needle. So we need to avoid this artery here. OK? 
Perfect. And to finish, let's change to the, just maintain please here. Okay, please. We we'll start in a short axis in the middle. Let's change. Let's change. Okay. These two muscles are the rectus abdominis. This is the left one, and this is the right one. And as we go distal, we will notice a small and small muscle appearing here. Can you see this small muscle? Is the pyramid are the pyramidalis, left and right. Here, pyramidalis muscle and rectus abdominis. If we go distal, then the pubic bone appears, and this is the this is the insertion of the rectus abdominis in the superior side of the pubis. This is the superior ligament. If we turn the probe 90 degrees, this is the rectus abdominis. This is the pyramidalis muscle and the insertion of the rectus abdominis here in the superior area of the pubis, pubic bone, okay? And there is a fascia covering all these structures. If we, will con we continue, we will reach the adductor longus, but we need the patient naked to, to do this exploration, and it's not the point here, okay? Mm. And that's all.